Yo, what's going on guys? We got our uh, football crew in today. We're gonna do a full linear speed, basically mostly focusing on top speed here. Check it out. Give me two to three per line, two to three per line. Hey, we're going wall drill, but you're going band resisted. Remember, I want knee high, hip level, right? I want back foot behind, lean into it, nice and easy, on go switch. So that means your other knee comes up, the other leg extends. Ready? Knee high, knee high. Go, 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 go. It's a quick switch, get the knee high. Guys, knee has to be hip level, has to be hip level, let's go. Working hip extension. Flip around. Last week of these, last week of these, they should be pretty. Gentlemen, I want first ones up. Here we go, it's on you, it's not on me. I want three switches each side. Three switches each side. Again, remember, coaching point. Knee high, good, tall torso sit up in stance. Knee high, I want cocked ankle. Go ahead and get up, nope, get up. Knee high, hip level. I want ankle cock. Leg comes down, come down, boom. Knee comes up, stomp into the ground. I want to see you stomp, stabilize, knee back high. Pause one Mississippi, go back into your next switch. Everything's pretty, everything's quality, nothing is casual. I want to hear you put that foot into the ground. High knee run, it's like a piston. So I still want you focusing on speed, but I want knee to hip level. Piston, I'm focused on reps here. Boom, 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 frequency. High knee, I'm focused on knee getting up to hip level. Right, knee to hip level. So I'm still doing the same thing, 10 yards down. Same thing as a piston run. Ankle stays cocked, toe to the top of the shoe. Torso tight, rib cage slightly over my pelvis, chin tucked. From here, I just want the knee a little bit higher. Pick it up, put it down. No heel lift, no heel lift. Let's go A skip regular, A skip regular. Pop the thigh. Hey, I want good mechanics with the arms. Ankle stays cocked, pop the thigh up, sink it with the hand, sink it with the hand. Let's go regular A skip, here we go. Here we go, we're going A with power. 15 yards down, now I'm adding a little bit of juice horizontally. Here we go, 15 yards. All right, now I want B. Now I want B, remember lift with the hip, pull with the glute. Now you're pulling instead of stabbing. Working recovery, right? So when I go through hip, hip extension, first movement is initiated by the foot. It's popping straight up. So all we're gonna do, triple, ex triple flexion here, straight up and down, a single leg high knee. I want a lot of reps, 10 yards down. We're gonna go two each side. Guys, take your time with these. Think about snapping it up. I don't really care so much on the speed down. I care about triple flexion on the way up. All right, so all three. If you're missing one of them, I'm gonna yell it to you. I want you to focus on all three. All right, 10 yards down, let's go. Now, as you get it, 
As you get the rhythm, timing down, give it juice. Now we're going speed in that recovery, speed in that recovery, train this motor pattern. Hey, so think, you don't gotta go anywhere. I could do this drill stationary. So I could just sit here and do it, right? I just want you to be able to pick it up. So a lot of you guys wanna push out and you sacrifice lifting your heel to your butt. You gotta do all three. That's why you're training that motion. So single leg cycles. Guys, if you haven't been doing this, you don't feel comfortable doing it, just go straight to single leg high knee. You keep drilling that. But the next progression is we lift, right? We release the hamstring and then we pull down. So it's a nice and easy cycle, boom. If you need to and you feel more comfortable, slow it down and cycle, boom, 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 boom. And I'm just pulling each time. I'm pulling each time. So there's three ways to do it. You could go speed and actually pull, boom. You could go slower and cycle, or if you don't feel comfortable doing it, go single leg high knee, right here, all the way down. Don't hang it out there, pull it back down. Pull the knee and pull it back down. So you're, you're, you're pulling it up, everything looks good here. Then once you release, you're kind of just allowing it to come down. I want you to actively, so when I come and I cycle, boom, and I'm pulling it and propelling myself forward. Almost like you're clawing at the turf. Guys, claw at the turf. Don't leave that leg up there. When you're coming back, I want you to claw back at the turf. That's what propels you forward. So I'm boom, boom, boom. Hey, so we're gonna go straight leg bounds. I wanna continue to work this. Guys, this is working essentially that last part where you're striking and clawing back away at the turf. All right, so we're gonna continue to rep this. So here, knees soft, toe to the top of the shoe. I want you to focus on the same thing we were just focusing on at clawing the turf and propelling you forward. That's what I want you to feel today. That's what I want you to lock in on. Don't just jump mindlessly and bound. I want you to pull at the turf. We're going alternating bounds. If you've been here, I want you sprinting up, get into it. Remember, it's least amount of bounds in 20 yards. Front side, you're collapsing the knee. For you guys who haven't been here, right? I want you going nice and soft. You ain't gotta be heroes. These guys just got out of that phase of doing it. So you're gonna dribble, okay? So you're gonna nice and easy dribble, pop the thigh, and then start pushing forward. For you guys who are here, I want you sprinting up, boom, boom, boom. Least amount of bounds, least amount of bounds. All right? Guys, when you land, I don't land toe. I land heel down, strike the ground, boom, pull into the next one. So we're gonna go step over runs. Check it out. I want 20 full yards, but all we're doing is reinforcing that recovery phase. Step over run is this. This leg, whatever leg's pulling, recovering, and then into drive phase, is stepping over the opposite knee. That's all you're focusing on. I don't need you going forward far. I want a lot of reps here. Okay, so you're looking for a nice tight cycle, just like you're pedaling a bicycle. All right, so I'm starting back here, and all I'm doing is I'm focusing on stepping over that opposite knee. I don't need to go far. I'm not pulling. All I want is a nice tight cycle on every single run. Recover, nice tight cycle. Recover, nice tight cycle. I'm not going far again, guys. I'm gonna go 20 yards. You're getting a lot of reps here. So nice and easy, 
boom, stepping over. It's a high knee, but you're trying to step over that opposite knee. Let's progress it. It's the same thing for five yards. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up. So I don't want you to go five yards and then just start sprinting. That's not what we're trying to do. Five yards and then start pulling with the hip. That's all we're doing. So I'm here. Step over, step over, step over, step over. Then I start pulling. 